All right, council, let's call to order the 240903 public hearing objections meeting to amendment Z22-10 to the zoning bylaw Z22-01 of the town of St. Andrews. Here we are Tuesday, September 3rd, 6.30 p.m. at the WC O'Neill Arena Complex Chambers. This meeting is also being streamed through Zoom and Facebook. If anyone uh, would like to submit anything, uh, council will be reading all communication right up to this process is complete um, one way or another. Um, so please feel free to email pnopper at townofstandrews.ca. Uh, let's jump right into the recording of attendance. I note that all members of council are in attendance as we have two councillors uh, joining us virtually. And I do want to recognize that we are on the unceded traditional territory of the Beskotomogadi people. Approval of the agenda. This first meeting is just related to the hearing of objections. So I'll be looking for a mover to accept the uh, the agenda is presented by Councillor Bennett, seconded by Councillor Hurdle. Any changes to this agenda? I'll call the question then. All in favor of approving this agenda, please signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Seeing none, that has been carried. Disclosure of conflict of interest, any this evening? If anyone has anything that occurs throughout the course of the meeting, please let me know. There's no presentations as we've received one regarding this before, a public presentation. So we are into the bulk and the purpose of this meeting, which is the hearing of objections. And once again, that is Amendment Z22-10 to the Zoning Bylaw Z22-01, PIDs 1502 1532-6214, and 01325406 otherwise known as 236 Mowat Drive, Harbor Town Builders, and it's PCD 240702. Um, so uh, we will uh, first say, Mr. Knopper, is there anyone online that wishes to speak this evening? No, Your Worship. Perfect. And I know that we've got uh, communication from a couple of the neighbors previously, as well Correct. as Harbor Town Builders themselves has submitted uh, revised plans. Correct. Um, so we count all of council has had that circulated to them. So at this particular time, I will open the floor to anyone who wishes to speak. Just I ask that you come up to the mic and state your address just uh, of where you live. Uh, and uh, we will keep everyone under 10 minutes just under the respect of time. So everyone has an opportunity to speak. But the microphone is open for anyone that wishes to come forward. Good evening. Uh, my name is Glenn Harris, and uh, I live at 234 Mowat Drive. Um, I'm here with my husband, Robert Desjardins. We're the property owners there. Our home is directly behind the proposed Mowat Enclave and faces the entire development. I believe our home will be the most impacted by this development. I've attended the last two council meetings and the recent meeting of PAC, although this is my first time to address council re regarding this issue. We've met twice with the owners of Harbortown Builders and have found they've been very responsive to our concerns and have made changes which we suggested in their proposal for development. Our concerns have been water runoff from the development which is being addressed by the builder, fencing and trees or, shub or shrubs between our property and the enclave, and the location of parking and dumpsters away from our property line. We found that Harbor Town builders have been very receptive and responsive to our concerns, and they have addressed each of these issues. I want to thank the mayor and councillors and councillors Hartman, Gumshell, and Heenan for their support in this undertaking. We support this proposal in its final form. I would like to just say one more thing. Um, we have been talking uh, a lot about traffic issues around, uh, and it continues to be a significant problem up on Mowat Drive. Um, I might suggest that uh, another 50 kilometer speed zone indicator sign is placed up near Tim Horton somewhere. There's one here by the fire station, and the next speed sign is past bar the bar road, which it becomes 70. Uh, so people start to speed up by the time they get to Tim's, knowing that it's coming. It's very difficult to get out of our driveway, which will be the driveway, as it is, and uh, quite unsafe. I, I tend to kind of uh, look to my left and go like this to drivers who are coming out of town too quickly all the time. So it's, a, it's something that could easily be addressed. And uh, I might also suggest that 
past the bar road, the 70 kilometer sign uh, that the word begins be added there. They're the only two things I, I really need from the town. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in and providing comment. Would anyone else like to address council this evening? Mr. Mayor, Council, uh, Terry Eldridge, 210 Mowat Drive. I So I live kind of adjacent to the driveway that leads to the development. Um, I'm just kind of getting up to speed on the third revision here, I guess, to the, to the site plan. Um, one concern or one question I have, I guess, the previous one had, uh, you know, the parking in a different spot. Would, would the developers be opposed to uh, moving these spots along the southern side into the middle along with the other ones. That would be my only thing. I see you've put houses around, which is all good, but I'm just wondering if there's not area in the middle to, to accommodate all the parking. Um, and um, other than that, like I'm 100% behind the development. Like it's, I think it's a great idea. I think the the new plan for the, for the buildings or the houses are great. Um, and I would tend to agree with the, um, you know, sitting, sitting, overlooking Tim Hortons, uh, often, um, the traffic is, is getting heavier there. And I think when the apartment building in the old blue moon property and the Van Horn development, further development across from the bar road, there's going to be a lot of left turning traffic coming into town. And I think you're probably already considering this, but I think it's going to get worse. Uh, so other than that, that would be my only concern with the development is is the parking as it exists in this third revision. Thank you. Thank you for that. We appreciate that. Anyone else? Hello. Uh, Natalie Hua, uh, 212 Moet. Um, so I'm... Uh, neighbors uh, to all of these gentlemen and uh, also on the, the laneway on the right of way. Um, I am generally in favor of this this proposal as it is uh, as it stands today and also appreciate um, moving the parking to start before our driveway, which was very much appreciated. I do have just a, a few um, a few thoughts. Uh, one is we are, you know, uh, expecting this to be a pedestrian um, community um, with, uh, and I, I think the massing is is uh, quite good, but with that, um, having bike storage or bike racks might be something that would be considered um, just because we, there may not, um, what we're hoping is that not everybody here is going to have a car. So um, having bike parking would be good. Um, also, um, you know, devil's in the details as far as um, fit and finish. Um, there, I, I am um, looking forward to seeing what kind of fencing is, is um, being proposed uh, and what kind of plantings. <clears throat> in addition to the fen fences and plantings, there are two dead trees on the property line um, along the back right-hand side of the, the laneway. I'm hoping that those two trees could be removed. And there is a large grassy area that's at that at the far end of the laneway instead of grass. I'm proposing that um, that be added trees in that area to soften um, the uh, entrance into my neighbor's property. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Any other member of the public? Do one last call. Any other member of the public? All right. Well, uh, I will say that uh, for the speakers tonight, and maybe I shouldn't say this, but uh, I've been around a lot of developments and uh, I've never seen neighbors uh, respond the way you have. And it's it's actually a breath of fresh air. Sometimes people will come and say they support a project and give us 28 reasons why it can't happen. But uh, your feedback tonight was genuine. And I can tell by the way that you speak that you actually I uh, feel like there is a compromise here to make it work in your neighborhood. And I just want to say in my eight years on council, I don't know if I've ever seen that. So kudos to you all. Council will take that under advisement. Um, I wrote it down, but Mr. Knopper will capture that all. And uh, council will uh, discuss that as we go through this process. So thank you all for taking the time to come in this evening. It is greatly appreciated. So.
Council, with that, I will be looking for a motion to adjourn at 6.41 p.m. Could I have a motion? I've got Councillor Heenan, seconded by Deputy Mayor Akaji. All in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. This meeting is adjourned.